What is up, Savage Fam? Now, I know we want to know what the next topic is, and I'm excited to tell you. So the next topic we're going to be talking about is the ethics behind being a content creator, y'all. Because let me tell you something. It is hard to be a content creator, and I know it. So let's just get right into it, okay? When you first want to be a content creator, you guys, you seriously just want to figure out what your goals are. I know everyone thinks about like, oh, you have to find your niche. No, 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 no. You need to figure out what your goals are. What are your specific goals of making videos? You'll find that most people, they just want to make videos. They want to be a part of the, com of the community. They want to post about their lives and their kids and what they're doing. And that's totally okay. That's great content. Then you got some motherfuckers. You got, I'm sorry. You got some people that have a little bit more you know, invested into this that want to invest a little bit more. They want to have some sort of influence. They want to be able to not only post about their lives, but also affect people's lives and build some sort of self branding of who they are. Then you got some people, honey, it is very confusing. Then you got some people that actually want to build like a business, a brand like me. I want a savage media company. I want a savage entertainment company. And that doesn't mean anything less of anybody else. It just means we all have different goals, but we all have a common purpose. We all have a common purpose with different goals, and that's okay. Once you establish your goals of what your content means to you and the journey you want to take it on, then you can decide how you're going to get there. Once you get there, honey, I'm telling you right now, it is fun, but it is a journey. And I know right now a lot of people are worried about following and the amount of followers that you have. And let me tell you something. It is important, but it is not the most important thing, honey. Let me tell you why. On TikTok, I went viral twice a week. I went viral so much that my following wasn't authentic. My following was hardly commenting on my videos. At the end of my videos, you can always see, follow for more. People were understanding that they needed to follow me in order to get more information or get more, but they never built that relationship with me. When I got over to Clapper, that's when I decided to change it up a little bit. Let's grow authentically. Let's not worry about the number. Let's worry about the quality of the content and the, of the videos. Once I made those decisions to be more invested in my content than I am in the actual number, things absolutely changed for me. When I made that decision, I started pushing my content far farther than it ever was before. I always made sure that my videos were crisp, clean, and to the point, and to my satisfaction. And the reason I say my satisfaction and not perfect is because videos are always going to have something wrong with it. You're always like, look at the, look at the big movies. They make mistakes too. So your videos are never, ever going to be perfect, but they can meet your standards if you push yourself hard enough. And when I mean your standards, honey, I don't mean just a simple video. I just mean whatever it is your standards are, wherever it is your goals say your standards should be. For me, my goal is to produce high quality, edited, lighted, content filled videos with laughter honey, and be able to build my brand with you guys and my relationships with you guys and make sure that we are all cohesive together along this journey. My brand is about unity, love, and respect of all people. And I've built my content around that as messy as I am. You can do your brand. You can do your goals. Everyone can have different goals or different objectives. That's the great part about being on a platform with so many diverse people. You get so much different content from so many different people in so many different styles and in so many different ways. And you really cannot get that anywhere else. So with that being said, honey, I hope you enjoyed your crash course of whatever the hell we're doing. Enjoy. Much love, Savage fam. I hope it hits your heart.